isang sunset provision yung RA 10121 na after 5 years dapat yan i-revisit and uh, introduce amendments. Dapat nangyari ito uh, as early as 2014 or 2015. Depende. I think this was passed in 2010. So dapat after 5 years uh, after it was passed or enacted dapat na-revisit na because of the sunset provision. But it did not happen. Nakaligtaan. And now, we're introducing legislation to create uh, a new department to address calamities. Of course, yung calamities natin is here, they're here to stay. Kasi yung typhoons lang eh. Nauubos nga yung alphabet natin, di ba, misan, in a year. Umabot tayo, umabaligtas sa letter A because we're being visited by typhoons no less than 20 times a year. And yung Pilipinas, since nandito talaga tayo sa natawag natin typhoon belt, ano, talagang tatamaan na tatamaan tayo. Medyo nagbago lang because Mindanao now is uh, being more frequently visited by typhoons than Luzon. Pero it's, it's still the Republic of the Philippines. So, since permanente naman yung calamity sa atin, maraming time volcanoes, maraming yung earthquake, paikot-ikot na lang. And we don't know when we'll, we will be hit uh, by the big one. So, dapat talaga mayroong dedicated office. But, uh, well, that's my that's my point of view. Huwag na, huwag na lang isang buong department kasi ano yan. Baka hindi na kayanin ng gobyerno. Ang utang natin yan, 7.99 trillion. By 2020 for this year, I assume it will hit the 8 trillion mark. Pesos, sir. Pesos, yeah. Yung foreign domestic and foreign, yeah. total.